the semester is officially over, but we still got plenty of action going down here on campus, off campus, and internationally. Let's talk about it on this week's Rave Miranda. It's an exciting week for all of us as President David Lassner just announced Craig Angelis as the new Director of Athletics for the University of Hawaii beginning in June. Angelis comes in with 30 years of experience in collegiate athletics and will look to lead a department that has been reaching extraordinary heights over the last few years, including numerous conference titles, NCAA appearances, and national championships. David Matlin will wrap up his tenure as AD over the next two weeks, closing out an extremely notable and successful career here at UH. Track and Field is heading to the first round of the NCAA tournament and are set to send Alyssa May Antolin, Holly Moore, and Lillian Turbin to compete from May 24th to the 27th. Moore and Turbin return to the national stage after competing a year ago, with Antolin being the newest addition after a stellar season. Also going to nationals of their own is Rainbow Wahine Sailing, who will be heading to Kings Point, New York for the ICSA Women's National Championship. The Bows have earned a spot in the semifinals after finishing runner-up in the PCCSC Championships and will send six all-conference sailors. Good luck to all the Rainbow Wahine and we can't wait to see what you accomplish. On top of all of that, who's ready to see Andre Illigan in his second NCAA performance? The 65th ranked Illigan is the only Rainbow Warrior to qualify for the tournament twice and will be heading to Orlando, Florida to compete in the NCAA Men's Singles Championship starting today. Send all the good vibes to Andre and we're excited to see how far you go. The base bows struggled on their final road trip of the season against CSUN, dropping the series 2-1. UH started out strong on Friday 7-0 against the Matadors, with pitching trio Harry Gustin, Alex Giroux, and Harrison Bodendorf on the mound. Stone Meow, Matt Wong, and Ben Zagler Namoa were key on the offense throughout the weekend to keep up with the Matadors. The Bows will host their final series of the season at home in the Les Murakami Stadium and will face off against UC Santa Barbara. You already know what that means, last series at home means senior night. All the action starts this Thursday at 6.35 p.m. Your Bows are going international. Rainbow Wahine Soccer leaves today to spread the aloha in Europe. Yeah, you heard that right, Europe. As the Bows will be playing two matches over the next 10 days in Italy, expanding the experience and reach for our student athletes. Not to be out down, Rainbow Wahine Volleyball has an international trip of their own as they depart later this week for South America and get to explore Brazil, playing a handful of matches over a two-week span. To our bows heading overseas, enjoy the experience and let everyone know how special Hawaii is while taking in other cultures. I hope you believe me now that the fun isn't over yet, and in fact, we are just getting started. I'm Emily Cervantes, and I'll catch you up next week on the Rainbow Roundup. Go Bows!